light rain. Range is go for launch. They continue to monitor the air and the sea space. Everything looks good. And we finally have gotten green across the board on the weather conditions, but we can't uh, take a deep breath quite yet. We're going to have to watch the weather all the way down to T0, both here at Kennedy Space Center and out in the Atlantic in the abort zones. Now, earlier we saw many of you following the launch from the United States on our hotspot map. Now that we're inside an hour, we're seeing large numbers of folks logging on, tuning in from coast to coast and around the world. So we'd like to know, is this your first time watching a launch live, not counting Wednesday? And if not, how many have you seen before? Tell us using the hashtag Launch America from your favorite social media platform. And with that, at T minus 42 minutes, 50 seconds, conditions are go, and we are counting down for an on-time launch. Let's send it back Dragon over to Kennedy Space play. Center as the action begins to pick up on the pad. Dragon, SpaceX, you are go for Section 7, close visors, and arm launch escape system. We will put Section 7 in work, visors come and close. All right, the countdown clock is continuing to tick. My heart is continuing to beat. Five million beats a second, and we are getting so so close. Uh, Dragon in seven point two visors are closed. We're arming launch escape system. Copy. And as you just complete. as you just heard, the crew is arming the launch escape system. That is one of the absolute blast big milestones uh, prior to liftoff, other than nominal Falcon operations. So just a minute ago, we saw the crew access arm retract, and obviously we just heard on the comms, uh, Bob and Doug getting ready to arm the launch escape system. And so that is something that protects them all the way to orbit. So when, when fueling starts at about T minus 35 minutes, so just over six minutes from now, they will have the capability to abort, uh, to separate from Falcon 9 either on the pad or even after liftoff. Um, that's a critical safety capability. And we are going to go over to Hawthorne now to take us through these next minutes. Jesse? Section switch in to nitrogen. Switch in to nitrogen. And we did hear that call out that they are arming the launch escape system. So very exciting. SpaceX has designed a Crew Dragon and Falcon 9 to be the safest launch, launch uh, system ever flown. Uh, so we brought back Nick Bacone, SpaceX's Nick Bacone, to talk more about this again. Thanks for coming back and joining us today, Nick. 
Hey, Jesse. Happy to be here. Uh, still <laughs> monitoring the launch here with our recovery and ground operations teams. Awesome. And Nick was our mission manager for our in-flight abort uh, test earlier this year and now works on the Starlink team. Um, Nick, on Wednesday, you uh, talked about the launch escape system. Could you just give us a brief summary today for those that are joining today? Sure. So the launch escape system, again, is our, uh, our ultimate safety feature to keep Bob and Doug safe in the event of a, a major Falcon anomaly on the pad. The system is designed to automatically fire if I... A very exciting day. The second attempt at the launch of the Dragon capsule by a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket. Um, we started coverage of this during the week. I don't even I think it was was it Wednesday, Thursday? Now I don't remember. Due to weather, the launch was scrubbed with just 17 minutes remaining uh, before launch. We are now at 39 minutes remaining and we were just told I have the wrong thing up on the screen here. Oh, there we go. Super chats. That was weird. Uh, we have just been told that as of about seven minutes ago, the weather is a go. Now, the launch is in Cape Canaveral, Florida. This is an area of the country that in summer has thunderstorms frequently. So there were uh, thunderstorm concerns during the week. There are thunderstorm concerns right now. The next launch day, if today doesn't happen, would be tomorrow afternoon at a similar time, maybe an hour earlier. And um, there are thunderstorm concerns then. So as of this morning, we were told it's 50 50 seven or eight minutes ago, just before the 45 minute mark, um, there was a weather is currently a go uh, communication. And that is where we are right now. So I don't know that I guess uh, I don't know if it's still 50 50 or on the basis of it being a go at T minus 45 minutes. It means that we are now at 60, 70 percent or something like that. But so far, we are still on and we may have a very, very exciting and important day in front of us. And I've been uh, uh, looking forward to this um, uh, for some time. And we, we have so much horrible stuff happening on the planet right now. We have so much horrible stuff happening here in the United States. Donald Trump in the last couple of hours talking about, uh, the, you know, looting, there will be shooting sort of thing. And that is, of course, a, 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 a phrase that has horrible white supremacist history. Trump, Trump claimed not to know about it. Uh, we have uh, incredible degrees of unrest in dozens of cities across the country as a result of the killing by police of George Floyd in Minnesota. The officer Derek Chauvin has now been arrested. Now, I, I'm going to talk about this on Monday, but I want to give people the right sort of expectations. Um, I don't believe there is going to be a guilty verdict in the Derek Chauvin uh, uh, there. We may not even have a trial, but I don't believe we will get a guilty jury verdict for Derek Chauvin. I believe we will either see not guilty or we will see him plead down to something less serious. And the reason why the reason why is that if you look at the indictment, the indictment already has in it that the cause of death was a combination of we'll get back to the launch momentarily. The George Floyd cause of death, according to the autopsy, was a combination of um, being restrained by officers, pre-existing medical conditions and possible intoxication. So, you know, I, you get a good defense attorney up there to get a medical examiner and say, based on this autopsy, is it likely or is it possible that George Floyd would have lived had he not been intoxicated? And you will get, you know, a medical examiner to go, yes, absolutely. That is possible. That's reasonable doubt. And this is why I am not optimistic that there are going to be, you know, if we're waiting for the big guilty verdict for Derek Chauvin, I think is not going to come more than likely we would see plea, probably pl a plea down to, you know, some kind of um, uh, overuse of force or something like that. Anyway, we're getting ahead of ourselves, but I want people to, you know, sort of understand where, where my head is at on this. And uh, not not the best news. Then you've got, you know, Donald Trump tweeting. I don't know if I even have it here. Um, something about oh, here he is tweeting about the rocket, something about um, where was this? Where did he tweet about vicious dogs from Secret Service? I don't even know. Let me see if I can find it. Dogs. All right. Must have been before. 
All right, maybe he deleted it or maybe maybe it was it was further ago. In any case, the, the gist of what Donald Trump tweeted was that the most vicious dogs and bloodthirsty Secret Service agents are the ones they put at the front lines if people are looking to protest at the White House. I mean, it was just uh, ominous, ominous weapons was also said. Yeah, absolutely sick. So we're here for something that maybe will be a, a positive thing. Um, I welcome your super chats. I, I welcome your comments on Twitch with subscriptions. I'll be reading them, announcing new members and telling you about this this mission. Let's take a listen to what's going on from Mission Control. Nitrogen, nitrogen tetroxide, that's the oxidizer. Those two come together and they ignite in space to propel the vehicle. You don't need that uh, T-TEB or a, a third thing to ignite because uh, um, hypergolic propellants don't require it. You just need the fuel. Started and the oxidizer, as you just heard, a uh, propellant load has started. Right. So in fat. terms of the propellant, I think what we missed them saying was that there are there are two propellants that are combined. One is, I believe, called uh, RP1. Uh, the other is liquid oxygen. And uh, these typically at about right where we are now, the 35 minute to go mark is when they start being loaded in. As we saw during the scrubbed launch earlier this week, if the launch is scrubbed, the astronauts sit in the capsule during what is at least 40 minutes of unloading the propellant and everything happens slowly, deliberately. Every every contingency, uh, hopefully every contingency is accounted for. And that's what we experienced with the launch a few days ago. Hopefully a different outcome today. So as a reminder, we have two astronauts who will be propelled by the Falcon 9 rocket made by Elon Musk's SpaceX inside of the NASA Dragon space capsule that, as you can see here in this model, sits at the top of the rocket. Uh, Douglas Hurley and Robert Benkin scheduled for 322 p.m. Eastern time, meaning about 11 and 22, 33 ish minutes from now. And um, Donald Trump uh, last week trying to insinuate himself into uh, the, this rocket launch traveling down to Florida. I don't even know if he's there today. I don't care. I'm not commenting. I'm not going to be covering uh, Donald Trump's statement about this. Donald Trump embodies everything that is the opposite of science and intellectual curiosity and uh, joint ventures with other countries, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So this is not a Trump event. Uh, this would be the first launch from U.S. soil since 2011. This would also be the first SpaceX crewed mission. SpaceX, of course, doing extensive testing with their Falcon 9 rockets, which lift off and then also land. It is a, uh, a thrust based landing, which if we were at some point to send these to the moon or to send a, a, a people to Mars, we would because of the atmosphere and the lack of runways, we would need a thrust based landing. So the Falcon 9 technology, not only is it more sustainable than simply jettisoning and losing the rocket, um, it also is potentially the technology that would be used if and when humans go to Mars. Um, if there is an abort, the, the the path, the downwind path for this rocket and Dragon capsule will be sort of a northeasterly path from Cape Canaveral, where the abort uh, uh, would take place in the ocean off the coast of North Carolina, roughly. And that is where Douglas Hurley and Robert Benkin uh, would be rescued, uh, equipped, of course, with parachutes is the Dragon spacecraft and uh, any number, any number of from the standpoint of contingencies, they've looked very strongly at a number of different contingencies. And as far as people are wondering about the timing, and then I'm going to get right to these super chats and, and other things. We are now at T minus 31 minutes launch, of course, scheduled for zero. The uh, stage one Falcon nine rocket is tentatively scheduled. If everything goes as planned, you the full uh, stage one, stage two and capsule would be thrust together. Uh, at nine and a half minutes, roughly T plus nine and a half minutes. That is when the uh, stage one of the rocket would be already back down and landing. I hope I'm not getting that wrong. That was the scheduling from uh, from the initial launch. Let's take another quick listen to what's going on. It's of oxygen and gives off a green colored flame. Now, it's hard to see on the first stage ignition due to the water that will be spraying on the pad, but you might just see the green flare as the second stage engine ignites following stage separation over two and a half minutes into flight. Now, currently, first stage fuel tank is about 10% full. The first stage, as a reminder, as you look on the left side of your screens, 
The first stage is the long white cylinder at the bottom, topped off by the black cylinder. So over two thirds of the rocket is that first stage. So the fuel tank is getting loaded. We're also loading the liquid oxygen into the so first stage. So that timing stage. makes sense. So if indeed the first stage separates at about two minutes in, that would suggest that the nine and nine minute, 22 second timeline for that first stage to come back down and land, which is just unbelievable to see, uh, makes a lot of sense. Welcome, everybody. We have something very exciting. Potentially, we got that a weather was a go message 17 minutes ago, and we are now 30 minutes from the possible launch here. I want to hear from you guys, questions, comments. If you're watching on YouTube, send in those super chats. I'm going to read a few right now. Then, of course, we will be thanking people on Twitch. A couple of those people are Justin D. Winters and Vertorio 13. The Dez just subscribed with Twitch Prime as well. Tom Bicknell says, I feel that the lack of convictions for police officers in these cases is heavily due to the precedent it would set. I, I actually I don't know that I agree. I mean, listen, that that may be something that plays into it, but there we have a system that is based on reasonable doubt and defense attorneys are very good at creating reasonable doubt simply because the accused is a police officer. And I talked about that in a clip earlier this week. M uh, Murdy Namity says Rogan bases all his arguments on pure speculation. OK, I'm Adam says, do you think that the riots will hurt Biden? No. Michaela McGonagall says the one piece of good news I'm allowing my nerd self to be excited for. I'm also slightly jealous that there are two astronauts who get to blast the F out of this country. <laughs> yes, uh, sympathetic to that idea right now. Incredible TV says today's word of the day on dictionary.com is escapism. Thank you for providing some for me, David, as our country completely collapses. God that I don't believe in help us all vote him out. Well said. Well said, Incredibo. Very much appreciate your support. And Joseph Woodward says, David, is it possible for you to show us footage from the live streams protesters are filming? Check out Unico uh, YouTube channels Max Chillin and Unicorn Riot. Yeah, we could do that. This is this is a stream about something good, not something bad, fortunately. So maybe we would look at that a little bit later. But right now, the focus is, of course, the launch of a SpaceX uh, Falcon 9 rocket with a Dragon a space capsule sitting atop of it scheduled in just 28 minutes to start the trajectory of Douglas Hurley and Robert Benkin, the two astronauts you see on the right of your screen. there, sort of the middle to the International Space Station um, and uh, would be very, very exciting if indeed it happens. Um, OK, I believe there. Oh, there's a raid happening on Twitch. Lycan GTV has raided with 33 people. Welcome to all of you. Very, very exciting day happening here and very much appreciate your support. Super chats continue to come in. Uh, Essential says, I believe if he's not charged, Minneapolis will burn. The police officer has uh, has already been. Uh, uh, I, I thought that we got the charges already, didn't we? Wasn't it third degree murder? Maybe I miss uh, misread that. Uh, OK, let's take a listen a little bit more and see what updates we have. It's typically a faster process, both when arriving and leaving, but it does still require pinpoint accuracy to approach safety. Once captured, a spacecraft then gets attached to a common birthing mechanism. The same type of port that we okay, use. So it looks like they're doing sort of like pre pre scripted content right now. We will certainly get back to it. Um, 53 Ibro says, did you see the statement from St. Paul, Minnesota, Minnesota's mayor this AM? He claimed all arrested last night in St. Paul were from out of the state. I didn't see that, but I'm reading a lot about that. Uh, there, there seem to be I would call them agent provocateur, right? So um, people sent in to provoke and uh, we see police participating in a lot of the uh, uh, instigation. We see Listen, this is not simple and there's no way that in a stream about a launch we are going to be able to fully cover all elements of this. But, you know, there's a lot of simplistic hot takes going around from so-called enlightened centrists pretending to see both sides. That's not what I do. Right. That's not that's not my thing, so to speak. That's not my gig. Uh, but there is no doubt that simply saying. Once you go to destruction of property. It is completely, you know, it is a completely unsympathetic action. Well, that's not true. Once you say the only victims here are these people or those people, those that the anything that is that black and white is not possibly not possibly going to accurately cover uh, what what is going on. 
All right, thanks, Dan. We are so pumped right now because things have cleared up and it looks like we might actually do this today. If you're just joining us, we wow. are now 25 minutes, 46 seconds and counting from the first launch of astronauts Thank to the you, International man. Space Huge. Station from U.S. soil in nine years. This will mark the beginning of a new era where more people will be able to fly to space than ever before. And we want to share with you the results of a poll we asked a little earlier. If you could go to the moon, now it's not where the astronauts are going today, they're going right. to space. Okay, let's do very good. So, uh, welcome to everybody, flat earthers included. If you are a flat earther, then certainly you must be very excited for one of the greatest Hollywood productions in the history of the world that we are about to see for everybody else. We call this science. We call this reality and it is extraordinarily exciting and we are going to be uh, finding out more. We are just 24 minutes away and as of now the weather looks pretty, pretty solid. Thank you to Darth Bain and Ad VM for Prez, all of whom are supporting me over on Twitch. Super chats continuing to come in. Victor Carrizo says, very excited. Saludos de Panama. Oh, I'll always love to hear from our Panamanian viewers. Scott Phillips says, thanks for giving me a reason to watch the launch. Absolutely. We need something like this in our lives. Bernie Sanders says, as a professional magician, who's your favorite? I have no idea. Andy Wilcox says, what's up with the kid militia in Atlanta? I tweeted about that. It was bizarre. If you want to see that, you should be following me on Twitter by now. I did tweet earlier about a supposed child militia at the Lenox Mall in Atlanta. I don't know what the hell is going on. I don't know what is real at this point and what is not. But this is a day for positivity. So we are standing by for a very exciting launch. Also, if you want some positivity, I just uploaded some new elements of gardening to my Instagram page. If you follow me at David dot um, an inchworm invaded my garden. I picked it up and took a picture with it. Very polite inchworm. Didn't seem bothered by the photography that's on my Instagram page. I've got an Instagram story where uh, or actually my urban gardening um, highlights includes I, I showed my massive tomatoes. I uncovered my massive tomatoes and bared all for you guys yesterday. And um, it I've already got some huge tomatoes. It's amazing. So today is a day for, for positive things. We've got the garden. We've got hopefully this NASA SpaceX launch happening momentarily. Essential says I wasn't clear if there is appearance of him getting off lightly, the city will likely burn. I understand. OK, understood. Understood. Thanks to Joker Max and Jimmy Big Nuts for the super chats. Always very much appreciated. You know, since it's such a special day today and we have something so exciting going on, I'm going to tell you guys a secret. We ran a Memorial Day membership drive on Memorial Day. That was five days ago. The coupon code, it still works on my website. So even though we're not promoting it, I'm going to tell you guys a secret because you're joining me for such a great event. On my website right now, the coupon code Memorial 20, all one word, all lowercase Memorial 20. It is the biggest membership discount we've ever done, and it's still live on my website. So take advantage of it. It's the best way to support all of the work we do, the political show, the political streams, the podcast, YouTube channel, Twitch live streams, uh, all of this stuff. Um, and the code is Memorial 20. It still works. It's a secret, but I'm telling you guys, just a few of my closest friends, and everybody who signs up with that code will get a thank you from me. We are down to under 22 minutes from the scheduled launch. Let's take a listen to whether any news about the weather, although it's looking very nice right now. Are a part of our team. You know, they're, they're not a customer. They're our team. They're not a payload. They're oh. our team. They're yeah. a family. And so we're just so excited to see the dads up there today. Yeah. <laughs> and, Go dads. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we, we're going to go send it over to uh, Gary for an update from Houston. Gary. Here we go. Hey, Marie, the uh, space station team here is focused. All eyes are on the system checks that are happening across the board, and we're listening in as we close in on launch. And I can tell you that things are looking very good. Chris Cassidy will be watching from the International Space Station wow. right now flying over the Pacific Ocean. It's heading to cross right over the launch pad. We might even get some good views from the station. I uh, hope to be capturing those. 
We'll have the launch view and the big screen up front, and everyone's excited to see our two crew members on their way to the International Space Station. But before we get to it, I just want to pass on good luck from the entire flight operations community here wow. in Houston. It's always exciting to be doing something wholly new and history-making with station operations, and we can't wait to see our team members Bob and Doug in low Earth orbit and heading to the International Space Station. That's it from us here in Mission Control Houston. I'll send it back over to the team in Hawthorne for the latest happening there. John. Some of these little segments seem almost pre-recorded to make sure that they go okay, but then they're like pr played as live, right? Everything is still looking good for launch of Falcon 9 and Dragon. 22 minutes, 45 seconds after the hour. Stage right two, now on RP the right hand side, you can see a large white cloud coming off of the strong back. That is normal. Wow. As we get ready to load the second stage with liquid oxygen, we have to chill in the plumbing lines going up that strong back. And so as we relieve pressure, the moist, humid Florida air condenses around it, and that gives you the cloud. So that tells us that things are actually on schedule. We did begin propellant load at T-minus 35 minutes. Fuel loading on the second stage, I believe we just heard the call out that it is complete. What a day. What a day, ladies and gentlemen. And we are very, very much looking forward to this just uh, under 20 minutes to go at this point in time. And that weather looks like it's holding out. We had a scrubbed launch earlier this week. If today were to be scrubbed, they would try again tomorrow at 3 p.m. Eastern time. And uh, we will hopefully not need that third launch window because 19 minutes from now, they may be on the way, which would be just an unbelievable, amazing thing. Super chats continue to come in. A mojo top. Thank you. Adrian Benningfield says jokes on you. I call it glorfed wetchcraft, David. All right. Very, very good. Don't totally understand what's going on there. But uh, very, very, people clearly extraordinarily excited by what it is that is going on here. We have the dragon spacecraft capsule sitting there at the top of this two stage SpaceX rocket. As they mentioned earlier, what you're seeing there below the capsule is the stage two rocket. That is only about a third of the total length uh, of of the rocket. Two thirds of it, which are not in in shot right now, um, are. Uh, oh, hold on a second. I need to adjust this so everybody can actually see the countdown. There we go. What am I? What a what a savage move. There we go. I, I apologize. People weren't able to see that. We are at the 18 minute mark there, as you can see, the full rocket this uh, basically they said that up until this black section here this is the stage one rocket this will detach at roughly the t plus two minute mark there we go that's a great view this is all stage one that will detach at roughly two minutes after uh takeoff this white section here it's all equally girthy but this the stage one is much longer as you can see stage two uh would uh, stay and uh it is the second stage and then eventually that would separate as well. Stage one, which is this bottom two thirds here, is scheduled to land back down on Earth, if you can believe it, at T plus nine ish minutes. Nine minutes and 22 seconds was the exact scheduled landing time for that stage one rocket in the first launch. That may have been tweaked a little bit based on wind and prevailing weather conditions, but we're going to see absolutely incredible stuff uh, as we. Get to so this is the point, guys, where a couple of days ago they made the call that they had to cancel. It was at T minus 17 minutes, and we are uh, getting very, very close to that moment right now. Um, we are, uh, I so people are asking if I'm going to be doing coverage of the protests and uprisings and riots and the like uh, after this. I don't know, I don't know. We will let's see how this goes, but of course. I am very much aware of everything that is going on globally, and it is um, scary, scary stuff for sure. No, no doubt about it. But we're here because this is a positive thing. This is a positive thing. Let's go and listen in now that we are closer to launch than we got a couple of days ago. In free. It's about a 19 hour ride if we launch today on time. So that means Bob and Doug will get on orbit. They'll have a number of burns or those firings of those Draco thrusters that they'll do over Stage two, several... locks load started. We hear the locks, the liquid oxygen load has now started on stage two. Beautiful. But again, they're gonna be doing a series of burns on the way uphill towards the International Space Station. Five spread out over the, the first 16 hours or so of their flight until they get much closer and it's time uh, for that approach and docking. And we are expecting that. 
with an on-time launch to happen today. Uh, that'll be coming tomorrow in the afternoon. All right, now that we're under 16 minutes away, we have a special guest joining us. I'm going to toss it over to Jesse. All right. Very exciting. We are now under the 16 minute mark. People clearly are excited. I want to say thank you to Christian Unger, who just grabbed a website membership at joinpacman.com. Christian, of course, taking advantage of the super secret Memorial 20 discount. Why don't you see it up there? Because it's a secret. This was supposed to be a one day special that we did on Monday Memorial Day. But I have told you because I like you guys so much that it, the code is still active. It's Memorial 20. Johan Granerud, I hope I'm not totally butchering that, has also taken advantage of that code uh, at joinpacman.com and is new member number two today. Help us close out May on a positive note as we have such a positive event here uh, taking place. Just a reminder the significance of this. This would be the first time. So, NASA famously is now partnering with companies like SpaceX. This is a SpaceX uh, Falcon 9 rocket that you see everything down here all the way up to the tip. Everything but the tip is the Falcon 9 rocket. This is the Dragon spacecraft. It is a NASA craft. That is where the two astronauts, Douglas Hurley and Robert Benkin, are sitting right now and have been sitting for some time. This is a joint venture. This would be the first launch from U.S. soil to space since 2011 in nine years. It would be the first crewed mission that SpaceX participates in ever, 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 ever. Uh, certainly, I see people very, very titillated. I think we can say that this is this is all you know, these astronauts are giga chads, I think is what people mean. And I've learned that that is good. That's a good thing. You want to be a giga chad. That's a really, really great thing. And we may well see that just 14 minutes from now. Absolutely unbelievable. Amber Mordock has grabbed a membership at joinpacman.com and is new member number three today. What a day. What a day. And I see people are very, very excited. Uh, let's listen in and see what else we have. We're, we're getting very close here. Final minutes in terminal count. Uh, take it away, John. T minus 13 minutes, 30 seconds, continuing to count down. We're continuing to load fuel onto the first stage. That should finish up in uh, just about six minutes. Wow. Fuel is completely loaded on the second stage. That's closed out. And we are continuing to load liquid oxygen on both the first and second stage. The liquid oxygen load beginning on the second stage uh, just uh, about three and a half minutes ago. We are also loading cryogenic helium into the storage vessels on the first and second stage getting in the last little bits of helium when we keep it uh, cryogenic, cold and liquefied. That gets us uh, just like we do with liquid oxygen, the maximum Absolutely amount. Absolutely in uh, incredible achievement of engineering and science and, and human creativity. Thanks to Die Hard for subscribing and supporting me on Twitch. Also, thanks to Dragonfly Back Home. Brett Harkness asks via YouTube Super Chat, David, have you talked about missing mail in ballots? Apparently, one sixth of mail in ballots go missing each year. Yeah, listen, so those numbers are being presented to you in a completely biased way to make you think that there might be something fraudulent going on. But understand that a lot of people don't uh, uh, actually fill them in. We, we have talked about that. It, 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 I will continue to talk about it. Uh, the issue of fraudulent vote by mail as affecting elections is absolutely and completely bogus. I want to say a huge thank you to William Chan, who is new member number four today at joinpacman.com. What an exciting day, finishing up May, hopefully starting to transition to a, a better time when it comes to the global pandemic that has been so mishandled by our tangerine leader, Donald Trump. Uh, and folks uh, showing some of their support uh, for the David Pakman show, which I very, very much appreciate. Lewis Noden wants to know what are my thoughts on the UK COVID response? I don't know enough about I, I'm not the person to really comment on it. I know about our response here and it's been disgusting, uh, but I am I am less uh, intimately familiar with the British British response. So there are certainly other folks, I think, who uh, would be better people to, to contribute there. I want to say thank you to Paul Clavier, who is new member number five. 
Uh, Joshua McTeague is new member number six today. Carrie Rydell is new member number seven. Very much appreciate your support. Let's listen in as we are going now uh, about to go below T minus 10 minutes here. Void. And so you should hear the call out be something similar to forward to Shannon. And that just refers to Shannon, Ireland, which uh, they'll be going off the coast of Ireland at the later stages of the uh, second stage if they have to abort. So just prepping you now for some of those calls. You're hopefully going to hear that word nominal a whole lot on the way uphill. Ten and a half minutes. Things are pretty quiet. As John I said, it'll pick up at right at about 10 minutes. We'll wait for the crew just to confirm that their displays are in order. The crew is already strapped in and reported that they are go for launch. Right. And we'll continue to watch the fuel gauges tick up on the Falcon 9 vehicle until fueling cuts off at just about two minutes prior to launch. Dragon and SpaceX confirmed displays are configured for launch. And we do now get under the SpaceX, T minus Dragon, 10 minute mark. displays are configured for launch. Copy. Bob, Doug, on behalf of the entire SpaceX team, it's been a huge honor to help you get ready for today's historic mission. Know that we're with you. Have an amazing flight and enjoy those views of our beautiful planet. I am going to switch streams. Apparently, we are about 20 seconds behind. The SpaceX crew stream is faster. Here we go. Are configured for launch. We are coming up on nine minutes and counting. Beautiful. We are now. We've uh, gotten through T minus 10 minute with the crew discussions. Activity is now going to switch over to Falcon 9. Our next major event comes at T minus seven minutes. We begin what we call engine chill. Right. Pre valves will open. Those currently separate propellants. Uh, on the first stage. So we've got from just about a minute 45 until the next major milestone. We are still a go for launch and only eight and a half minutes away. What an incredible day. What an incredible day. Thanks to Tara Beard. Tara just signed up on my website using that secret Memorial Day coupon code Memorial 20. Really appreciate that. Uh, so appreciate everybody's support. Iku says via Super Chat, hello from Sweden. So great to have folks uh, watching from all over the world. Lamanta 67 and Connor Brenner have signed up to support the show via Twitch, which is uh, extraordinarily exciting. Ryan Muller is new member number nine today at joinpacman.com. What a day. We can feel the excitement. It is palpable, palpable excitement. Uh, we uh, uh, sadly had to scrub the launch earlier in the week at T minus 17. We are now 10 minutes past that and rapidly approaching this first crude launch by SpaceX ever and the first launch from U.S. soil in nine years. Last one was in 2011. Uh, thanks to Nolan Kennedy for grabbing a membership at joinpacman.com. You are number 10. Let's get back as we approach this crucial seven minute mark and see what the discussion is. Thanks, Ray, for the super chat as well. Very much appreciate that. And we are just 10 seconds from this critical seven minute milestone. At which point things will escalate dramatically from what we were told. Although not instantly. Stage one and stage two engine chill has started. There we go. We've heard the call out. Stage one engine chill has started. That's gone up to the crew so that they've got situational awareness. As I mentioned, the pre valves are open. And now we are topping off for stage fuel, getting ready to finish the fuel load. Wow. The liquid oxygen load on first and second engine stage pressure. will continue until the last three to two minutes of the countdown. We should hear that call out RP1 load complete coming up at about six minutes again, RP. One is just that densified kerosene or that rocket fuel that Falcon 9 is going to be used to power Bob and Doug to orbit today. Remember RP-1 and liquid oxygen both uh, loaded in starting at about 35 minutes prior. And, and stage one fuel is closed out. And their stage one has been finished loading. Right on time. That call out indicates that the fuel loading on the first stage uh, is complete draining back the lines now. So first stage and second stage fuel are complete. Amazing. Liquid oxygen loading is continuing on both stages. You can see on the view on the left side of the monitor, 
the condensation, uh, the cold gas wrapped around the stages as the tank skins are chilled by the densified liquid oxygen picking up the humidity Talking from the Florida the air. Wow. It looks like at this moment we're a little more than 90% full on the oxidizer on the first stage, ticking up towards that 80% mark on the second stage. We'll be counting down all the way till about two or three minutes, as John I just said, until everything is loaded. Talking in nine heaters nine. closing out. Thanks, and Connor and Kristen, for, for the launch. memberships. I do see those. Don't want to miss a second of what is happening. Dragon has transitioned to configure for terminal count. Vehicle tanks pressing for strong back retract. We're pressurizing the Falcon 9 tanks. We're going to open the clamp arm around the second stage and begin to retract the strong back. Here we go. This is a major moment, critical moment. We'll move back about two degrees. That'll get us to the liftoff position. At liftoff, the strong back will then recline about 45 strong degrees away. Started. They are starting to retract that now. Stage two, RV1 bleed. Launch director called out the strong back retract has started on the left. You'll see it go back just a couple of degrees. Stage one, RPM lead. We are just four minutes away from liftoff. Again, at this moment, Bob and Doug are really just laser focused on those displays. They have insight directly into Dragon and the Falcon 9. They're able to see where their fuel loading is at. Thanks, so everything's progressing down with the count. AFTS final setup started. So as a reminder, after two minutes, that first stage will separate. Launch. And that first and stage is scheduled to is land nine minutes after liftoff, just 12 9. minutes from now. In the next 12 minutes, if all goes as planned, stage one will propel up and come back down and land all in the next 12 and a half minutes, if you can believe it. I'm back igniter purges. As you can see this arm retracting, I'll go bleed. What a moment. What a moment. First SpaceX crew. Dragon has transitioned to terminal count and is on internal power. What a moment Stage for one, SpaceX. Stage one, load, close out. And Elon Musk. Okay, we're at T minus two minutes, 42 seconds. Stage one, locks load is closed out. Stage two will continue to load for about another half a minute or so. Once we get the completion of stage two locks loading, we have to vent down the line so you'll see another large white cloud coming off of the strong back. That'll be normal. That'll happen Vehicle around transitioning to T minus power. one minute and 40 seconds. And of course, uh, anti vax, I'm sorry, not anti vax, <laughs> flat earthers, well, whatever. Flat earthers are allowed in the stream, but uh, you know, it, we, we prefer science here. Since we've been in this position, a lot of work done by thousands of people to get to this point. Same thing. All yeah. our eyes focused on two now. Uh-oh, elements of liquid on the left. What is that? Stage two, lock float is closed out. Propellant fills are complete. Dragon is in auto idle. Stage two, lock load complete. All fuel, all oxidizer on Falcon 9. One minute, 34 seconds to go till launch. What a moment. What a moment. Ground gas closeouts is starting. Just 70 seconds left. The next 10 minutes, we will see some incredible things. Falcon 9 is in startup. Dragon is in countdown. FTS is armed for launch. Things are happening. Under a minute now, the FTS, the flight termination system, has been armed. Dragon, SpaceX, go for launch. Wow, here we go. 
SpaceX Dragon, we're go for launch. Let's light this candle. T minus 30 seconds. I really got to get a close look at what we're seeing here. Stage one tanks pressing for flight. T minus 15 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition. Liftoff of the wow. Falcon 9 and Crew Dragon. Wow. Go NASA. Go SpaceX. Godspeed. Bye. Wow, that is a fast liftoff. America has launched. So rises Copy. a new Why era not? of American space flight, Stage one and with Boston it the nominal. ambitions of a new generation continuing the dream. 20 seconds into flight, stage one propulsion is nominal. T plus 30 seconds into this historic mission. Flying crew on board Dragon and Falcon 9, and look at them go. Falcon power telemetry nominal. M1D throttle down. We're throttling down to get ready for the period of maximum dynamic pressure. Wow. We're in the throttle bucket. Reports say all systems are go. Vehicle is supersonic. We've exceeded Mach 1 on the Falcon 9. M1D throttle up. We're throttling back up to full power as we're through one max Q. Copy, one Bravo. And we Only heard that about one a Bravo call stage out. One That's separation just the second one abort problem. zone that they're in. They'll continue to be on this until the first stage has done its job and they switch over to the second. At this point, Bob and Doug pulling about 2.3 Gs, 2.3 times the Earth's gravity, already moving at over 1,500 miles per hour. We've heard the call out for MVAC engine chill. That's getting the MVAC engine ready to light. That'll come at about 2.44 into flight. Right now, everything continuing to look good. Next major event coming up is gonna be the triple. We'll have main engine cutoff of the nine first stage engines, stage separation, and then ignition of the second stage engine to continue to carry astronauts into orbit. Seconds from now, I believe. Coming up in about 20 seconds. M yep. M1D throttle down. We heard we're throttling down the Merlin engines on the first stage. And now we will see that first stage separate. And we have Miko. Miko. Two Alpha. Falcon stage separation confirmed. There it is. Copy two Alpha. MVAC ignition. All right, we have stage separation confirmed. The first stage beginning its flight back. The second stage being powered by that single Merlin 1D vacuum engine has ignited and is now certainly Bob looking like a spherical planet. Orbit. So they're going to continue under the power of this second stage. Stage two propulsion is nominal which will cut off at SECO, or second engine cut off, at about eight minutes and 44 seconds into today's flight. So a little over five minutes to go still on this second stage. You heard the call out to Alpha, so they're now in the longest abort zone that carries them all the way from about North Carolina up the eastern seaboard almost to Canada. Things looking good, though, getting good call outs, nominal propul pul propulsion on that second stage. Bob and Doug continuing to make their way into orbit. And that stage one rocket now beginning its descent back to Earth, as far as we believe, about nine and a half minutes. Dragon deep, SpaceX plus nominal trajectory. Would be when it lands. Acquisition of signal in Bermuda. SpaceX Dragon nominal trajectory. All right, here in nominal trajectory, so Dragon pointed in the right direction, continuing to make their flight uphill. Heard acquisition of signal Bermuda. That's one of the other ground stations that they're using to get telemetry and data back from this spacecraft. Stage two propulsion is still nominal.
For people asking, they are going to the International Space Station. Some folks joining us in progress here. First crewed SpaceX launch ever. First from U.S. soil since 2011. Four and a half minutes in. Stage one rocket has already separated. A little over four minutes, 40 seconds into the flight. Bob and Doug flying at more than 5,600 miles Dragon per SpaceX hour. Dragon SpaceX nominal trajectory. Already almost 200 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center. Nominal trajectory continuing. While they continue uphill, it looks like we are getting a view of the first stage as well. Yep, on your right screen, you can see that first stage with the grid fins deployed. It's making its way back to attempt to land on our drone ship. Of course, I still love you today. And we're just about a minute, uh, a couple minutes away from the entry burn, and that's where three of the nine Merlin engines do ignite to help slow the vehicle down as it re-enters back into the Earth's atmosphere. That will be a key and moment. And then after the entry burn will be the landing burn, which is just a single engine Dragon burn. SpaceX nominal trajectory. And you heard... Nominal Starting chill for entry burn. There's that call out. They are still on a nominal trajectory on Dragon. Still on second stage, and that's that MVAC engine on second stage on your left screen. Again, on your right screen is that first stage booster coming back towards our drone ship. Of course, I still love you. We're about a minute away from entry burn. Isn't this the best? Meanwhile, that second stage continuing to power Dragon into orbit. Again, if you're keeping an eye on that timer, that's going to continue to burn until 8 minutes and 44 seconds into flight. So a little over two minutes from now, we'll hear the call out Seco. It'll then be a little stage under, two propulsion a little is still over, good. A little over three minutes until Dragon physically separates from the second stage of the Falcon 9 after the upper Dragon stage SpaceX gets a chance. Dragon SpaceX nominal trajectory. Dragon copies nominal trajectory. Continuing to check in with Bob and Doug as they are on a nominal trajectory. Just about 10 seconds away from that first stage, starting that entry burn on your right screen. We should be able to see that view live. And I believe that it's only two minutes from landing stage back down on planet Earth. The stage one rocket on the right side, of course. And now you start and to see that there is that entry burn oh, beginning. This burn lasts about 36 seconds long. Stage two, FTS is saved. Well, that entry burn continues. We're just about a minute away from Seco. We'll have a number of events all happen in rapid succession. Uh, it'll Talking be the shutdown. second engine cutoff. Stage one we'll be looking shutdown. for that. Uh, stage one landing burn shortly after. Passing 20,000 kilometers per hour. Yeah, actually, just within a few seconds of each other. It's such a cool view on your left screen, seeing Bob and Doug on Dragon. Right now, you can see the displays that they are seeing right now themselves. Terminal guidance. And back throttle step. We are coming up 25 seconds or so away from Seco or second engine cutoff. This is also the point where Bob and Doug are experiencing their highest G-force. We're seeing the counter tick up to right about 1.8. Copy Shannon. You heard Shannon, so that just means they're in their final abort zones. If they were to abort at this point, would either be an abort to orbit or to land off the coast of Ireland. Standing by for second Stage engine one cutoff started. confirmation. And back throttle step. And back shut down. Did you landing there? Everybody masked up. Good to see that. Confirmation of Seco's second engine cutoff. Now we are waiting for our first stage to make its way to our drone ship. Of course, I still love Dragon you. Dragon SpaceX nominal orbital insertion. Wow. Launch escape system is nominal orbital insertion. Nominal orbital insertion. Nominal orbital one insertion. Landing, deploy. And what you're seeing on your screen is a live view of our drone ship, where our first stage will be coming down. Oh no. That's not good. Looks like we lost that live view, but 
We'll wait for confirmation of that landing shortly here. Oh, we got to see that. Falcon 9 first stage successfully landed. And back? there you can see on your screen. It's back already. Falcon 9 has landed. At the nine and a half minute mark. This is mark, the like first Falcon 9 to carry humans to moment. orbit. Oh so very exciting for us. And as you can see on your right screen, Bob and Doug are still making their way to their targeted orbit. <laughs> M1D to recovery one. So exciting today. M1D. <laughs> it doesn't stop. It does not stop. All right, we did, we did hear again that call out, good orbital insertion. So that means Falcon 9 and Dragon right now exactly where they're supposed to be. M1D to FRC on recovery one. And it's right at about 12 minutes when Can Dragon will separate. Looks like we saw a zero G indicator floating around there. I know Bob and Doug owe us a little bit about what exactly that is that they brought up with them. <laughs> and before separation, before Dragon initiates separation from the second stage, they do make sure to make, they, they do ensure that the vehicle is not spinning and it is in good condition before we separate. That's right, the upper stage does small attitude maneuver using some cold gas thrusters built into the rocket body itself. And I exactly. believe we so are we just... do expect that separation to occur in about a minute from now, there we but go. they do wait until they have full confirmation that it is ready to separate. Such cool views. I cannot get over this view that we are seeing right now. Bob and Doug on the right screen, inside of Crew Dragon, out Can in you, space. I, I see people in the chat who, yeah, I don't know if you guys are kidding, saying that this 200 is fake. Kilometers I hope you guys Earth are just trolling. I really would feel that. Imagine thinking this is fake. Traveling in excess of 2,700 meters, 27,000 meters per like second. I really feel bad for you guys. Or about 16,000 miles per hour. Again, we're just standing by. That separation event should be coming up shortly. Then they'll begin a series of checks on the Draco thrusters that are going to be used to maneuver and then power Dragon on its flight to the International Space Station. Right. Standing by for separation. Expected loss of signal, wallops. It sounds like we had an expected LOS loss of signal with one of the ground stations. Waiting for confirmation now. And there it Dragon is. Dragon separation confirmed. Dragon separation and confirmed. <laughs> there is a great view right in front of you Countdown of Dragon December. separating. Separation confirmed. And there's that call out. Dragon is now officially making its way to the International Space Station today. <laughs> Dragon SpaceX with that separation call. Uh, we have a few words for you from our Falcon 19. Standing by. Dragon, Chief Engineer on Dragon to Ground. Bob Doug, on behalf of the entire launch team, thanks for flying with Falcon 9 today. We hope you enjoyed the ride and wish you a great mission. Right. Thanks, Bala. Congratulations to you and the F9 team for the first uh, human ride for Falcon 9. And it was incredible. Uh, appreciate all the hard work and uh, thanks for the great uh, ride to space. Copy all. Good luck. Like Proud of you guys and the rest of the team. Uh, thank you so much for what you've uh, done for us today, putting America back into low Earth orbit from the Florida coast. Copy all. Good luck. Godspeed. All right, so Bob and Doug are in and Dragon space. Dragon SpaceX, we confirm nominal eclipse activation and service section Draco checkouts. A uh, no-scone deploys in progress. Has Trump taken credit for this on Twitter yet? I'm not going to look. Copy all. We're monitoring. The core here in Hawthorne giving the crew a heads up that we have confirmation the nose cone is just deploying. So again, that nose cone is going to open up a little bit more than 90 degrees, goes up to about, I think, 105 degrees, and that's going to expose uh, the actual docking ring and the hatch that they're going to be going through once they attach to the International Space Station and also four of those Draco thrusters, we call them the forward bulkhead thrusters, they're gonna be used for these major phase burns or firings of those thrusters to actually raise their orbit gradually right. over the coming hours. 
Also heard good activation of the ECLIS, that's the Environmental Control and Life Support System. That's everything controlling their atmosphere, uh, just keeping Dragon a nice, safe, habitable environment where they're going to be living for the next 19 hours until they arrive at the space station. Wow. Right, exactly. And Falcon 9's job may be done for today, but the mission is not over. Crew Dragon's job is not done. As you can see, Bob and Doug are still inside Crew Dragon making their way. It will be a 19-hour trip to the International Space Station before they dock tomorrow morning. 18.45 to go. And such cool views. I love that we can get these live views here and see and watch what they're doing now that they are in orbit. Yeah, it's, it's incredible to just be looking over their shoulder to be along for the ride. And we're going to be with them and we're going to be with all of you the entire way uh, for their journey to the space station. We're going to be covering live throughout. Uh, Bob and Doug will obviously have a sleep period. Uh, where they'll get about eight hours of sleep a little bit later today before they wake up for all of their final approach. Uh, one of the major things we are looking forward to in the next couple of hours is going to be their first turn at the controls. So they're actually going to be... I'm sure it's really easy to just go to sleep for eight hours in the middle of that trip, right? Pilot Dragon will walk you through what that's going to look like, and assuming we have some good ground station coverage, we'll be able to get views from right inside Dragon, looking over their shoulder as they manipulate the controls at the display. But, I mean, it, we had a, a smooth ride uphill, both stages of the Falcon 9 doing their job, placing Bob and Doug in orbit. I mean, this is, this is a day, this is a historical day. This is us kicking off that new era of space flight that we've all been talking about and longing for since the space shuttle program came to an end in 2011. Yes. And the weather, the weather cooperated. Yes. Second time's a charm. <laughs> right. All right, so day for the history book, books. As you can see, we have lost some live signal there, but the mission still continues, and we're going to send it over to KSC um, to continue uh, broadcasting live Expected with you. Expected loss of signal in Newfoundland. Yeah, Jesse and Dan, we are just in awe over what here. What a day. I woke up this morning and looked at the weather forecast. I was like, Man, we're going to be back here on Sunday, but we we did it, we did and it. the room cleared out. Everybody was outside watching, and the and the inside the lights were shaking, the cameras were shaking. Lauren came back in with tears. All right, in her guys, eyes. it has happened. That is going to be it for me. Wanted to pop in for a rare weekend stream because this is so so important. Maybe we'll stream the docking tomorrow with the space station. Really appreciate everybody who joined me, and uh, there will be no shortage of things to discuss in the week upcoming. I'll see you guys soon.